September 12th, 2021. Okay, we're working. Hi, Rapid Ruby. Yeah, there will be more Pokemon Snap. Um, oh, this is Geddes. Might be a little loud. Is that loud? I feel like it's loud. No, actually, it's it's about right. Never mind. Um, I'm trying to get everything set up. Oh, my camera is not adjusted correctly. Um, the music is loud. Okay. Well, that's super easy to fix. Wait, what is going on over here? Okay. Um. Let me. Actually, let me get my face on. And then the rest we can. I can adjust while you see me. Here, let's transition that. Boom. Transition. Actually, hold on. Uh, I don't know what I'm showing you. Hold on. Um, like, I don't actually know what that was. I, th I mean, it was clearly something I was looking up earlier, but I need to change the Chrome. Which Chrome window I'm doing, because I don't want to just show you whatever. Here we go. Yeah, I know it's a web, <laughs> I know it's a web browser. Um, is that it? I just have, like, maybe a dozen windows open between school and everything, and... Um... I don't know, 
want to make sure I show the right one. Sorry, that should be better with the music. This is a partnership. Oh wow, I have five Excel windows. Wow. I have way more open than I thought I did. Okay, I'm just going to look... Oh, here we go. So this is the window. So let's... Let's do this. Let's move this over here. Boom. And then, can I remove this? No, it switches over. Well, here, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to do this really dirty. No, don't make it a new window! Mm. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to be running out of RAM. There we go. Okay, now it's working. Close that. Okay, good. Switch it over. We're switching over now. Okay. There, now you can see me. <laughs> see me, Rapid Ruby. Um... But, because I'm using my TV as a second display, but it's a 4K resolution. And if it runs at 4K, it really messes up my computer. Because then it's showing two different... No, wait, I don't want personal... Wait, display settings, that's what I want, not personalized. So I just want to run my TV at like 1080 or something. Oh, it is at 1080. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, that what I have showing isn't going to mean much to you. It's mainly for my benefit. And oh, where's the thing I wanted? Why is Cortana open? <laughs> press one, press one in the chat, everyone, if you have a Cortana and it's annoying you. Okay. Sweet. And, and, yeah, the camera's not straight, but that's fine. <laughs> you think Zygarde was the worst first pick? Okay. Well, great. I'm going to let you look at that. Um. Yeah, I can close this. I'm going to do a little bit of preening. Is that the right term? Okay, I don't know what's showing on your ends now. Oh yeah, I just have like a Chrome window just open, but it's like a new tab. I have two, why? Yeah, I have PowerPoint open, I don't need that open tonight. Oh, Edge was open, no wonder. Okay, I can't see chat right now. I hope that's okay. Um. Hold on. No. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And then scroll over. <laughs> you don't know Zygarde? Okay, well, that's fine. We're going to be talking about Zygarde. Yeah. So, some of these Google Docs I don't need open. Yeah, and like I have some of this Pokemon stuff open twice. And I really don't need that open twice, so... Yeah, I'm telling a difference already. The second display was eating a lot more RAM. Here we go, like Spotify. I do not need Spotify. Is there a way to quit Spotify, or does it just minimize? File. Exit, yeah. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> oh, I gotta save those. I can't show those on stream. And... I'm just gonna close basically everything. It's the weekend, I don't know... I mean, I realized because I was studying during the weekend. But I shouldn't need all of my Chrome tabs, op Chrome tabs open. We'll leave the Excel stuff. Excel's not that power-hungry. Relatively. Yeah, Outlook. Let's close, close. Oh, hey, everyone, what's up with your weekend? Let me know what's up. Oh, Zoom. How... Zoom, I know, does not like to close. Yeah, it's only closed window. I'm going to have to quit it through, uh, what's it called? Windows Explorer, or, uh... 
and now Outlook refuses to close. Yeah, but I'm leaving GIMP open for a very important reason. <laughs> Pokemon Showdown, what's that? Um, Pokemon Showdown is a battle, Pokemon Battle Simulator. I can show it later. Um, here we go, Zoom. Yeah, just as I said, Zoom is a liar, and it never closes unless you kill the task in your taskbar manager. All right. But yeah, so things are moving a lot faster now. Um, but yeah, Pokemon Showdown, rather than having to actually train all your Pokemon, it just you're just able to kind of put in the numbers that you want, and it just does it. So here's what's up. Um, the Reddit... Our Sunfisk, which is kind of the big Pokemon battling subreddit, had an idea like three months ago, hey, let's do a draft league. Um, so what's a draft league? <laughs> draft league is kind of like an NBA draft, NFL draft, normal sports draft. You're drafting Pokemon, but you have like a salary cap and you can do trades and whatnot. And the idea is take a pool of Pokemon and then you're going to big teams from that and you're going to have a league you're going to play everyone not everyone but you're going to play a lot of people in the league and you're going to face off see who, see who the champion is so they had a lot more interest than they expected um they ended up having 64 is where they finally said all right we're just going to have these 64 entrants we're going to cut it off here um <laughs> so i am luckily one of those 64 um So, they put us into divisions of 16 teams. <laughs> no, I mean, this is... So, this is just a Reddit site, just doing this. Let me adjust the lighting a little bit. And that camera, I may need to adjust a bit. I'm going to have to look at it. Yeah, maybe just a hair. Um, but no, Nintendo's not doing a thing with this. Showdown is not... It's not an official site. Okay, that tab's not working. That's not good. I'm going to have to minimize out a bit. There we go. Um, no, it's totally unlicensed, but it's free. And I don't mean to... Uh... I don't mean to, like, kind of exaggerate, but it's, it's like, basically the best thing for competitive Pokemon that's ever happened. Um... But yeah, it's absolutely not licensed, and you just kind of have to deal with it. So, where's my mouse cursor? Here's my mouse cursor. I'm going to shrink this a little bit so that we're actually seeing the same things. Uh, make it a little... Okay. There we go. Let's just do that. So, I'll show you a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, no, because actual Pokemon battling, it's very time-consuming. Um, even... Like, Sword and Shield is actually the easiest because they've added things like mints and whatnot that make it actually really easy that you can just change natures and stuff like that. Um, the issue is... Hold on. That's changing stuff. Uh, the issue is it still takes a long time. And even if you have the items, it can still be multiple hours to get the exact um, EVs and IVs, which I can go into if you want. <laughs> um, but... Even with all of that, it's a big hassle. Big, big hassle for uh, for you to do it. But before you can even do that, you have to grind for the actual items and whatnot. So, um, this thing's just better. Anyway, so here is here's the list. Um, I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Hope that's okay. You probably can't read the names, but... Let's just give you kind of an idea of what it is. So the way this format worked is you had a thousand points and you had to draft at least ten Pokemon. Um, you get one Mega Evolution, um, one Mega Pokemon, which is free. Uh, there's a lot of zero. It's free if you get a bad Mega Pokemon. You can get up to fifty extra points. So, like for example, Abomas. <laughs> I I'd say Abomas is better than Bennett. Anyone in chat wants to uh, <laughs> give your thoughts? Mega Abomas or Mega Bennett? But yeah, they're bad. Mega Camera's bad, too. Yeah, Mega Adino's bad. <laughs> Man, Mega Manetrix maybe should be up a little higher. I, I, I think Sceptile should be one up higher. Other than that, like, it's a pretty, it's pretty fair, but it's, you know, they just have to pick stuff. 
Um, but you get one Mega Pokemon, and it either gives you extra or the same. Uh, you have Tier 1, which are these are a bunch of the overused Pokemon that people use. So like Melmetal, uh, Hoopa, Weavile, Volcarona, stuff like that. Uh, those are all 200 points. Tier 2 is 140, and this is in the orange. So you got like your Gengars, your Crawdons, Chanseys, Rotom Washes, so on and so forth. Um, tier 3 is 100, and this is the yellow. And I want that a little bit more to the left. So you can see the little icons. Um, you think Vanette's better than Abomaso? Okay. I think Abomaso can do stuff. Vanette, it's just like, hey, I'm going to prankster. <laughs> it's a prankster destiny bond. Let's go. So yeah, like, uh, these are Pokemon that... they st There's still a lot of value in these tiers. But uh, definitely weaker. And that's 100 points. 70 in the green, I think you get it. Like, Pile of Swine, that gives you an idea. And then every other Pokemon is tier 5. So if you really want a Cryogonal, go get it. If you really want Double, the, the bad sheep Pokemon, or if you want like pre-evolutions, like you want Litleo, which is I guess the Incineroar middle evolution, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to kind of, we're going to go through with it. If there's something that's too far beyond like what you're what your reasoning is let me know um so actually i should let me make sure the draft is technically not done my my division that i was put in is the absolute slowest um i think the first division got done on wednesday or tuesday sorry we started this a week ago from saturday so we're at like 10 days now fastest division finished tuesday or wednesday i forget the next fastest finished like thursday night maybe friday morning um, the other one technically finished last night, but there's one guy who his Discord account got like compromised or something. I'm not exactly sure what it is. So we're waiting on him, but other than him, it, it's basically done. Uh, my division still has like five picks left. Um, I've decided who my last pick is going to be. <laughs> Good, that will be a problem. I decide who my last pick will be, and the person I'm waiting on can't pick them. Um, and it's been about eight hours now without a single draft pick, and at 12 hours, they get skipped. Um, the person we're waiting on, I feel like we've waited a little bit on. And that's fine, I get it. They gave us 12 hours. If you gotta use all 12 hours, do it, I guess. <laughs> um, I feel like I've been pretty fast with it. No, I, I get it. <laughs> no, I get what you're saying. A lot of this stuff is not gonna make sense to you, but that's fine. Um, so here's... Here's what happened. I got lucky, or they made a post where they said, all right, we've broken you up into divisions, uh, make a meme, and uh, just to say that, yes, you still want to be in, the funniest ones will get first pick. Uh, so my meme was, I said, imagine a Blissey with two Orenberries, which if you know Papa Garbador, who's a YouTuber, that's kind of his big meme, is Orenberry Blissey. He likes to run anti-meta Pokemon, <laughs> so Orenberry Blissey is his favorite, so I imagined, I said, like, imagine a Blissey with two Anyway, uh, that was good enough that I got the second pick overall in my division. Super happy about that. Um, so, here's what I what I thought. General ideas going into the bracket. Um, I knew that I wanted... Um, here, l let me rephrase it. I knew that I wanted a really good core of Pokemon. I got Firewater, Grass, Steel Dragon, Fairy. Um, something that... You know, it's one of those fragile cycles where you can always switch into something that will give you an advantage if you're weak. Uh, those cores are very common. Um, but I knew that I didn't want to get those with the Tier 1 Pokemon. I thought, I'm going to focus on the lower tiers first. Because then I'm able to actually invest and get the good stuff from the lower tiers where I can afford. And then the Tier 1s, they're a lot more flexible and they can fit in kind of whatever your team is. I'll get the Tier 1 then. Everything will be good. Um... And that's basically what my plan was, is get a lot of the mid-tiers where there's a lot of value. Like, their value per point is really good, um, but it, you can get a lot of them. Because also, like, if you wanted two Tier 1s, you could do it, but then you're stuck with your Mega, your Tier 1, or your two Tier 1s. You have to pick one from every tier, I don't know if I mentioned that. So, you'd have your Mega, your Tier 1, your Tier 2, 3, 4, 5, and then you'd have four Tier 5s. And they did that intentionally, so you kind of had to pick more bad Pokemon. But I said, I'm going to get ahead of the line, get kind of the bad Pokemon, and then take my pick from the Tier 1. 
So that was kind of my general strategy going through this. It says I'm running at 57 frames a second. That's no good. Um, am I still on battery saver? I think that I am. Also, I got like basically every Pokemon soundtrack. Here we go. So if you're sick of this song from Pokemon Black and White like I am, let me know and we'll skip it. Um, actually, I wonder, uh, can I, I'm going to, I'm going to add a source. Hold on. Is it window capture? I think it's window capture. Um, window capture. I don't think I've thought about this. Yeah, add a new source. Um, this is going to be music B test. Now do I pick which window it is? Oh, it picked it. Done. There. Let me know how that looks, if that's good enough. I can make it bigger or not, but this is like another bad black and white song. Um, <laughs> oh, here we go, the battle theme. Let's pump it up in the subway. So, I basically knew that I had to get a lot of, or I had to get a lot of the lower tier Pokemon. But I said, if I have the second pick, I don't want to lose out on the Megas. Because I looked at all the Mega Pokemon, and although I was kind of sorting stuff, um, are we looking at, at the Megas? Yeah, let's, let's zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to kind of go over some of these uh, Megas, because they banned a lot of them. A lot of, like, the Mega Lucarios, the, the Mega Mewtwo's, the... Mega Rayquazas, whatnot. It was kind of... They cut the really good ones out. Um, you like the legendary one? Okay. Um, when this song's done, remind me and I'll put it up. Just say, like, a reminder or something. <laughs> we'll find it for you. But I started looking at all of the Mega evolutions that we have there. Um, like, Aerodactyl Mega. Um, okay. Sure, I guess. If that's really what you want. Um, again, I'm moving stuff. Uh, Charizard, like, yeah, Charizard makes sense. Um, but I'm going through all of these, and none of them are, like, really that impressive. Gyarados. It's like, yeah, there's use from that, but you kind of have to really build around it. You need, like, a good Bolt Absorber, or a lot of ground types that can absorb electricity. I guess we'll know, because then you would Mega Evolve, but I... N Mold Breaker is... It's a solid ability, but it's not, like, a must-have. Um, Mega Sableye I really like. Mega Sableye with Magic Bounce is such a tank, you can't really do much to defeat it. Uh, Slowbro Mega, yep, very good, but, but like, let's think, these are all, like, good Pokemon, but none of them that are really centralizing. Um, so, I looked at it, but there was one that I thought was super centralizing, and that's the one I decided to pick for my first overall decision. The guy in front of me picked Zygarde, <laughs> as Sport mentioned, and then I picked, boom, Mega King is gone. Oh, like, you can't remember the song? Okay. Well, I just have the whole soundtrack playing. But if we want the legendary... Actually, I think I could just do... Look it up. Black Legendary? Yeah, Legendary Pokemon song. It's an 8 minute long song! Wow. Alright, we're queuing it next. <laughs> um... But yeah, so I decided to take Mega Kangaskhan. Uh, Mega Kangaskhan, very, very strong in singles tiers. Um, maybe a little stronger in doubles, just because you can, like, fake out is so much stronger. But, uh, it's like, this is Kangaskhan's normal abilities. Oh, this doesn't have the... This doesn't have the Mega stats. Just imagine it's even faster and even stronger. But Mega Kangaskhan's big thing is that the baby Pokemon pops out and it hits... It hits as well. So whatever move you do does not double. It used to do an extra half. It's been less than to a quarter. Um, but, okay, so you get your normal 100% hit plus another quarter. That doesn't matter too much. Um, it actually matters a lot when you consider that Mega Kangaskhan learns one of the best moves in the game. That's not like a U-turn or a Stealth Rock. I don't see it on here. Uh, but it learns Power-Up Punch. Yeah, I don't see it. 
<laughs> on this uh, smogging list. But basically, the idea is you come forward, you do punch, boom. Also, what is all, what are all these ads? Get out of your ads. Um, but power to punch, it's you know a punching attack, but it raises your attack stat one. So it's half swords dance, half attacking move. But if you have your smaller Pokemon out and it goes boom, boom with the two hits, that is a swords dance. Plus you did chip damage onto whatever. And especially if you're going to have a normal type or a rock type, something that's weak to fighting, um, it, it really can stack up really high. Um, Kangaskhan also gets scrappy as a fake out user, so it can hit ghost types if it's early enough in the game. Which, although we're not going to be facing Calyrex, that's how you face down a Calyrex or another really fast ghost type. Um, yeah, my frame rate is dropping. I think it's because I'm doing the two screens. That's really, really lame. Um, if it gets super annoying, let me know. I may actually just... Is everything okay? Yeah, uh, it's actually, like, chugging. Alright, what's killing... See, the memory is actually fine. I'm only at like 50%. And CPU is only at 35. 